The Aortic Arches The Aortic Arches arises from the most distal part of Truncus Arteriosus called Aortic Sac. Aortic Arches joins into the right and left dorsal aorta. The dorsal aorta, caudal to aortic arches, fuses to form a single vessel. The first pair of aortic arch formed from ventral aorta. Second pair, third pair, fourth pair, fifth pair, and sixth pair of aortic arches. The fifth arch either never forms or forms incompletely and then regresses. The first arch disappears but small portion persists to form maxillary artery. The second arch disappears and remaining portion forms stapedial artery. The third arch forms common carotid arteries and proximal part of internal carotid arteries. External carotid artery arises, from sprout of third, aortic arch. The dorsal aorta between, third, and fourth arch disappears. So distal internal carotid artery is formed by the cranial portion of dorsal aorta. The right fourth aortic arch forms proximal part of right subclavian artery and, its distal part is formed by portion of the right dorsal aorta and the seventh intersegmental artery. The right dorsal aorta, caudal to seventh intersegmental artery disappears. The left fourth aortic arch forms arch of aorta, which is continuous with the left dorsal aorta. The left subclavian artery arises from left seventh intersegmental artery. The short portion of ventral aorta between 4th and 6th arch forms the brachiocephalic trunk. The 6th aortic arch is also called pulmonary arch. The distal portion of pulmonary arteries arises from buds of 6th arch which grows into the developing lungs. Proximal portion of pulmonary arteries develops from proximal part of 6th aortic arch. The distal portion of 6th arch on the right side disappears and on the, the left side persists to form ductus arteriosus. After the partition of truncus arteriosus, main pulmonary artery develops from pulmonary trunk. As the heart shifts caudally during development, left subclavian artery origin shifts higher, close to the origin of left common carotid artery.